Good evening and welcome to Education St. Tammany Channel 13 Prep Sports quarterfinals, baby. Team, eight teams left. Coach, Car Coach Carlin, you're right here against Peabody, the number one ranked team in the state, 38 and 0. But yet, you've had a pretty darn good year at 30 and 3. Well, uh, we played well all year. Kids, kids are excited. You know, we'll play this kind of size throughout the year. Uh, this is an exceptional basketball team we're going against tonight. But uh, our kids were ready to play yesterday. I mean, they've been they've been loose, but they've been focused and uh, just looking forward to the opportunity. Trying to get in your head a little bit about tonight's matchup. I'm going to say you're going to want to kind of walk that ball up run your offense get the best shots you can and try to limit their opportunities well we do we you know we don't want to give them 80 possessions and have to defend 80 times but you know we're going to push it up some but we talked to them about you know we got to make their big guys guard 28 feet from the goal we can't let them play from the three-point line to the goal and if we can get good spacing and make those guys chase on the perimeter we feel like we can do some things to get our shooters open on the perimeter and then on the flip side of that winning inside is going to be a challenge tonight but Tate's come up big for us before and prior games against teams with this kind of size. So hopefully, you know, he'll be able to win inside some. And it's just going to take a solid ball game on our basketball team. Your team's mental makeup. Tell me, because you're playing teams 38-0, number one, all the things that, they've, that they're highlighted for. What are your guys are thinking right now? You know, I, 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 they're pretty confident. You know, we watched some film on them yesterday, and they watch the game, and they know what we're up against. But, uh, you know, we bring our A game, and kids play well. And I told them, guys, we just got to compete and fight on defense. You know, these guys are going to be big. We're going to have to try to compete on the boards, and it's got to be all five of us. It can't just be with our big guys. But their attitude is, they, you know, they believe we can win. Free game with Peabody coach Charles Smith. Coach Smith. 38-0, number one ranked team, perennial power the last 10 years in 4A. How do you keep your kids motivated week after week? Well, we take one game at a time. You know, we prepare for each team. We don't take anything for granted. Uh, we work hard each day in practice, and that's the key. Coach, you got you have a senior team, but you got some underclassmen that 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 are going to bring something to the table. That's correct. Uh, you know that's been the key to our success. We've always mixed in freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors. So we've never really had a true senior ball club. You've got four players that uh, have been nominated for the McDonald's All-Star team. Of course, that's very prestigious. That's You've had some other other great players. Right. Um, You've got a program going. Uh, you know, that's correct. You know, the nomination is just a formality. Uh, Greg Monroe is the only player from Louisiana that was selected, but that is a uh, honor in itself, you know, being nominated. And I'm really, uh, you know, happy for those guys. Um, tonight you get a 30 and 3 Salmon team. Um, I'm assuming probably y'all don't know much about each other except it's the quarterfinals, a round of eight. That's correct. Uh, I know they have a good ball club. Anytime you go 30 and 3, you've got to have a good ball club. Uh, you know, Coach Carlin has been around a long time. He does an outstanding job. And, and also this program, uh, you know, has been successful over the years. So uh, we know coming in, we have our hands full. All right, the quarterfinal matchup. Peabody undefeated against Salmon. Barker gets the tip for the War Horses. Michael Horn at the point. Guarded by Harrison. First shot of the game is knocked down by McNeil. William McNeil puts Peabody up 2-0. War horses going man to man. Tate hands off to Harrison in the lane, dumps it off, shot. Jonathan Johnson shot away. And baby, if you can't feel it on the TV, I can feel it here. Playoff basketball. Ah, that's a turnover. That one went out of bounds. So Salmon, two trips, has come up empty. They cannot afford to do that if they want to stay with this team. Horn, hands off, shot by 
Brown, no good. Rebound, Harrison quickly up. Dishes it off. Shot. Populous fires it up for, for the trifecta. And it's 3-2. defense right there on the steal, but stepping out of bounds is R.J. Scott. The place is packed. The cage is packed. And it's definitely on here tonight. Both teams ready for this one. Loose ball. went out of bounds be salmon basketball populace will inbound to Harrison horn is on him as Harrison gets it up across the midcourt line they're gonna take their time and work for a good shot populace on the baseline pull up shot and we got a charge Yeah, it is a charge. No basket. Home time cheered the, the foul they thought was there, but it was a charge. 5.35 to go first quarter. 3-2 Salmon. Horn. And our first foul of the game goes to Jared Harrison. So Horn will go to the line. Horn at the line, our first foul shot of the evening. He knocks it down. He'll get a second one. Both teams just trying to feel each other out here early. Horn converts to be two for two from the line. It's a 4-3 lead for the War Horses. Populous, double screen, one left, one right. Excuse me, that's Harrison. Populous was setting his screen. One comes back out. Scott, under pressure, gets it back out to Johnson. Harrison tried to dump it off the tape. Loose ball, and we got a jump ball. Under the alternating possession, it's going to be Salmon basketball. 4.37 to go, first quarter, 4-3. to three. Harrison. Tate. For Populous. Scott. A lot of movement by the Spartans. Going to take, take advantage of every possession and make sure they get a good shot. Coach Carlin calling out a play. In the lane, shot up. Contact, no foul. It's going to be out. Contact in the lane, but no foul. Ball's knocked out of bounds. Salmon basketball. Populous inbound. Back out to Harrison. Long shot by Populous. No good. Rebound. And quickly the other way. Pull up jumper. In and out. No good. Put back. 
by Barker is good. 6-3, Peabody, 3.30 to go, first quarter. Pass inside, stolen. Other way, slamming it down. Desmond King and Coach Carlin calls timeout. 3.15 to go, first quarter. The first jam and an 8-3 lead for Peabody. Salmon inbound, Harrison over to Populous, and that jam just got the visiting fans fired up. A lot of patience by the Spartans, but realistically, They've seen that it's hard to get off a shot. In the lane, put up, dumped off. And Johnson, Jonathan Johnson scores the basket. Barker, Austin Barker commits the foul. And Johnson will go to the line. Johnson with a chance to make three. The old fashioned way, no good. Tip in and a foul. Isaiah Tate skies up. Barker's second foul. And Tate converts on the three throw. And it seems like a matter of seconds, and we're tied at eight. What was a big timeout for Coach Carlin as his team came back out and got five points to tie it up. 2.29 to go, first quarter. Loose ball picked up by Harrison. Kicks it out, Populous going to bring it over and reset it. Double screen. Long shot. Knocked down by Darren. And Salmon's up. 11 8. A buck 41 go first quarter McNeil he walked tried to dish it off to Beatty who checked in a, a few moments ago for Barker, but he walked. So Spartans up three, gonna set it up. That one almost stolen. Populous wide open, misses. Quickly the other way, Horn, no. And a blocking foul. Horn had to adjust. And Populous was called for the foul. Kind of moving out there was Darren Populous. Really hadn't gotten himself straight. He did get Horn to adjust and miss the shot. So Horn will go to the line where he's two for two, three for three. DJ Dawzart checks in for Peabody. And Michael Horn will go to the line. His team down by two, still down by two, rebound by Johnson. 11-9, the Salmon lead. Harrison.
Harrison guarded by Horn. And a foul by Horn. Johnson gets a breather and Burkett checks in for Salmon. 50 seconds to go, first quarter. Salmon spreading the floor for corner style. Populous. Harrison. Down to 20 seconds. This is how Coach Carlin wants to limit possessions, hold the ball as long as he can. It's not pretty. They got a five second count. That's one of the things that can happen. Someone's got to step up and get the basketball. He cannot be closely guarded for five seconds without giving it up. Good defense there by the Warhorses. Horn brings it up, six seconds to go. Shot at the buzzer by McNeil, no good. And the Spartans win the first quarter, 11 to nine. Second quarter of David versus Goliath. Goliath being 38 and 0 Peabody Warhorses. Spartans won the first quarter. Can they maintain? Markell downtown Brown misses. Rebound to R.J. Scott. Pass inside. Shot up off the glass. No good. Burkett misses on his shot. Quick horn, pull up jumper, no good. And we got a foul. Got over the back, 22 over the back. Brown with the foul. If you're Coach Carlin, this is exactly how you wanted it drawn up so far. Can his team maintain? Populous Tate screen. Inside, shot by Tate is good. Isaiah Tate has five, and it's 13-9. Salmon. Shot by Beatty, no good. And Peabody with the rebound. Reset is Horn. McNeil finds Brown. Beatty gives it off to Horn. Horn, three-pointer, no good. Rebound, Populous. Quickly the other way. Harrison Scott thought about it, gave it off. Dumped inside, Tate off the glass. Tate has seven and it's 15-9. Shot by Beatty, no good. Scott pushing the issue inside Tate quickly. He had to adjust his shot. Beatty got him to adjust his shot and he missed it. What he had been knocking down the last couple of times. Shot by Horn, no good. He gets his own rebound and a putback. Horn's got, that's his first field goal and it's 15-11. Tate, Harrison, no good, rebound, the War Horses, Beatty, crashing the board, he's made an impact there since coming in, in the lane, shot by King, no good, rebound, Scott, 
Coach Carlin calls a set play, so oh, they're basically going into a slow down, make sure. Delay game type offense. Make sure we get a good shot. Take the take the wind out of the ball. Foul. William McNeil, 30 on the foul. <laughs> Salmon inbounds it. 420 to go. First half. Harrison. Tate misses. Loose ball. Got a foul on Peabody. 35 is on Guy Beatty. Populous to inbound it underneath his own basket. Long throw. Going to be stolen. Quickly the other way, McNeil loses the handle. Took his eye off of that one as he was going up. And the ball basically ran off his leg out of bounds. 15-11, Salmon, 3.57 to go, first half. You can tell the Spartan, oh, and that's on carry. As Populous thought he was gonna throw it over here to R.J. Scott, and Scott had made it, tried to make a backdoor cut turnover. 3.47 to go. Horn up at the point for Peabody. Shot by him, no good. Rebound and a shot. Rebound by Beatty. Foul on Tate. Tate's second personal, and that'll be, and Guy Beatty will be at the line. Beatty's first shot splashes down. He'll get a second. He splashes down again. 15-13, Salmon, 3.30 to go first half. Harrison walking it up. Spartans very deliberate offensively, trying to work for the, the best shot, try to draw the foul. That shot's no good by Scott, quickly the other way, and King converts. And Coach Carlin wants a timeout. We're tied at 15 with 3.12 to go in the first half. Coming out of the timeout. Jared Harrison walking it up. Populous in the lane, digs it down. Johnson, and he gets a basket as Salmon continues to get baskets down inside. First by Tate, and now by Johnson. Dumping it down for King, shot, good. Baskets good by King. Burkett on the foul. So Desmond King will go to the line and try to make three the old-fashioned way and put his team up by one. He does. He's got five, and it's 18-17. Peabody 
2.29 to go first half. Derek Thomas has checked in. Burkett, shot, no good, rebound. Burkett kicks it out. Thomas dishes it off. Harrison down on the baseline and then back out. Pull up shot by Thomas. It's good for three. So Derek Thomas is good as goal on his first three. And he puts the Spartans back up by two, 2018. Shot by Beatty, no good. Rebound. Harrison quickly the other way in the lane, dumps it off, fake, and then draws a foul. Good pump fake by Johnson. That time, Desmond King commits the foul. Seems like Coach Carlin wants to attack that lane, draw a defender, and then dump it down to somebody for a shot off the glass. Johnson missed on his first foul shot, his second one, he misses on two. 2018 it remains, 123 to go first half. So, Horn setting it up, a call by Coach Smith for a play. And they're looking to move it around and run the play. Probably wanting to go back down in there to King. He's going to go on the baseline, puts a shot off the glass, and it is good. He's got seven, and we're tied at 20. 48 seven seconds to go. First half. Harrison calling for everybody to run the play. Coach Carlin calls for play number four. Thomas. Harrison. Thomas. He got, got the walking call. Andre Matwire checks in. 5.1 seconds to go. Horn puts up a running shot. Knocks it down. At the buzzer. And that ends the first half with Peabody up by two on that shot that you just saw by Horn. All right, second half action. Quarterfinal. Playoff game in 4A. And Peabody at 38 0 is up 22 20. The game has played out thus far just like Coach Carlin wanted. First shot by Harrison to start the second half. No good. Horn pushing it down the court. Block. And then it goes out of bounds. Good job right there by Harrison. Horn gets it back up to the point. Got to feel like Peabody got some points in the paint down with Desmond Killing late in the first half to draw ahead, draw even, and then Horn put him ahead at the buzzer. So look for them to go back down inside, pull up jumper on the baseline by Brown, no good. Second shot by Brown, no good. And then Brown commits the foul. Markel down 
downtown Brown commits his second foul. And Jared Harrison going to bring it up against Michael Horn. R.J. Scott, long shot, no good. Rebound, King. Didn't look like R.J. was really set, just kind of set that one wayward, a little off balance. Shot by McNeil, draws a foul. The Scott commits the foul. And William McNeil will go to the line. McNeil misses on the first, he'll get a second. Defense has been the key for both teams thus far. McNeil knocks down the second one, and the War Horses have a three-point lead. Johnson to Harrison. A lot of movement. Not able to really get it inside as they did in the first half for some good baskets. Scott pull up jumper. Misses. Put back by Jonathan Johnson. Johnson on the spot there. Brings the Spartans within one. Horn draws the foul from Harrison. The hometown fans don't like that call. That'll be inbounds to Peabody. McNeil in the lane. Jumper came back, and that one's put back in. Brown with the putback of McNeil's missed shot. 5-10 to go, third quarter. 25-22, the Peabody lead. Again, Salmon trying to be very patient offensively. Trying to find the open shot. Trying to get Peabody to expend a lot of energy. Defensively. Forty. Austin Barker on the foul, his third. It'll be inbound by the Spartans. Beatty checks back in, and Barker goes to the bench. Salmon inbound. Long pass to Harrison. Brings it up over midcourt. Populous. Guarded by McNeil in the lane, tries to put up a shot. No, does not go, but he does draw the foul. <laughs> foul was on McNeil, his second, his second, third team foul of the half. Populous hits the first, rattles in the first one. He'll get a second one. Yeah. 
He knocks it down. Spartans within one with 4.13 to go, third quarter. Beatty. Coach Carlin getting his guys to blanket King to try to take away the inside. Desmond King has been a force. They're going to run back and forth. McNeil, pull up jumper at the elbow, no good. Loose ball comes out to Brown. He puts up a three pointer. Air ball, no good. And we got out of bounds as Horn couldn't save that one. Three. 42 to go third quarter. One point lead for the War Horses. Inside, Tate over King, no good. Loose ball. Horn pushing it, pushing it. Down the lane, puts up a shot, no good. King with the rebound and put back. That's exactly what Co Coach Charles Smith told his team at the half. Push it, push it, push it. Let's not wait. Get it up. Let's get a shot and let De Desmond clear the boards, just like they did there. Horn executed just like he wanted. Ball stolen, and there's Horn. Foul by Populus. Reach in foul. Probably not a bad deal right there as he kept him from, from shooting and or getting a layup or dishing it off to McNeil for the easy basket. McNeil off the glass, no good, loose foul. McNeil comes up with it and draws a foul. Derek Thomas on the personal. Three point lead for the War Horses, 2.33 to go, third quarter. McNeil at the line to shoot two, where he's one for two, two for three. Twenty eight twenty four. It's probably that that point clicker in Coach Carlin's head going off. He does not want this team to get too far ahead. And we'll call a timeout if need be to slow them down. Twenty eight twenty four is the Peabody lead. Harrison for three. Spartans within one with 2.06 to go third quarter. Great defensive job right there by Harrison. Steps out and draws the charge. Inbound to Harrison. Big defensive stop that time. A little argument about that one, but uh, it did appear that Harrison did have possession and was on his side of the court and then did step over after. Every play, every shot, every rebound, crucial to the Spartans. Beatty, no good. And we got a foul. Kyle Burkett on a foul. Uh, 
Matwire checks in and Beatty, who has not been able to buy much of a basket or any baskets, is out. King in the lane, puts up a shot and draws a foul. Burkett commits his third personal and King is at the line. King has nine in the game and he's at the line. Make it 10. He's the first player in double figures for either team. Second shot coming. He misses. Rebound to Brown. King, another shot, foul line. He knocks it down. Quickly the other way, Thomas thought about it, brought it back out. And a Salmon resets. Steal back, Mike Neal. Going up, draws a foul. Thomas with the foul. His second. And McNeil with a great play there. Came up with the steal, drove down, and drew the foul. Chance to put his team up by more than four. He hits on the first, he'll get a second. 32-27, the War Horse lead. He misses and he's three for six now. 103 to go, third quarter. Thirty-two, twenty-seven, five-point lead. Harrison with horn on him. Foul on horn. That's two personals on Horn and 42, 40.2 seconds to go in the third quarter. Inbound, Tate kicks it out, Burkett. Thomas, for Tate in the lane, puts up a shot. No good, rebound, King. King coming with up with all the big plays in this one for Peabody. 12 seconds to go, third quarter. Brown, stolen by Thomas off the tip by R.J. Scott. Good defensive play. Two seconds, Harrison puts up a shot and draws the foul. is on Markel Brown. His fourth personal, and that puts Harrison at the line. So Harrison will go to the line. No time on the clock, but the buzzer has not gone off. So officially the quarter is not over with. He hits on the first, he'll get a second. And he knocks it down. 
Here comes the third because he was shooting a three-pointer. Therefore, he gets three shots. And he knocks it down. 32-30, two-point lead. And that ends the quarter. Salmon draws within two on three foul shots by Harrison in this David versus Goliath matchup. Fourth quarter, down two. Does Salmon have a rock left for its slingshot? We will know soon. They have hung and hung. King. Brown, shot, no good. And that's out of bounds. McNeil couldn't control, it goes out of bounds. And a little more pressure from the War Horses. In a lane pull up shot by Harrison, no good. Foul on Burkett. We're in the one and one, and Austin Barker will go to the line. If he makes the first, he'll get a second. He misses. He does not get a second, but it goes out of bounds. Burkett trying to save it to Harrison. Harrison could not control it. It goes out of bounds. Johnson checks in and Burkett checks out. Johnson giving away four inches to Desmond King down inside. King walks. And an, a chance for Salmon to draw even or go ahead. Kicks it back out, and it goes out of bounds. Timeout, Coach Smith for Peabody as he wants to talk it over with his team. Six forty-six to go in this one. Peabody up by two. If you're just joining us, you have missed some excellent basketball. And we have a foul. Foul is on R.J. Scott. McNeil goes to the line where he's three for six. Four for seven. That shot gave his team a three-point lead with 6.34 to go. He splashes down on the second. Five for eight, and it's 34-30. Four-point lead for the War Horses. Spartans in a delay game. Harrison at the line to shoot one and one. He splashes down on the first. He'll get a second. He's five for five from the line. He has eight, and it's 
34-32, a two-point lead for Peabody. Pull-up shot by Barker, no good. Harrison the other way. In the lane, up shot, no. Put back, no. Second put back, good. Jonathan Johnson gets his eighth point, and we're tied at 34. Quickly the other way, Horn, no good. Barker over the back, no. Tate's foul. And Barker is at the line. He misses on the first. He'll get a second. He rattles that one in for his first point and a one point lead by Peabody. Again, Spartans very patient offensively. Harrison in the lane, knocks it down. Jared Harrison puts the Spartans up by one. 5-11 to go in this one. McNeil baseline, misses the shot, gets his own rebound, and draws a foul. R.J. Scott, his third personal. And it's this part of the game that's kind of dragged. Last few possessions, fouls. Both teams not really in sync offensively. And McNeil will go to the line. Where he hits the first one. Where he's six for nine. Seven for ten. He's got nine. And Peabody's back up by one. And off times when the game kind of slows down like this, you get a lot more fouls. People not really get in sync. R.J. Scott, long three-pointer, no good. Loose ball. Tate kicks it out. Scott again. No. Rebound, King, and he draws a foul. And Burkett fouls out. Teams up by one, he'll shoot two. He misses badly on the first, he'll get a second. A little bit of the on the road jitters there. 435 to go in this one. Desmond King misses on the second one. Brown gets the rebound. Clutch play right there by downtown. McNeil inside, puts up a shot and knocks it. Three point lead for Peabody. Foul.
King on the foul. King second foul. Harrison knocks down the first. He'll get a second. Splash down. He's seven to seven from the line with 15 points. And Coach Carlin wants a timeout with his team down by one and 4-10 to go. 4-10 to go in this one. The cage has been rocking as the Spartans have been toe-to-toe -to -toe with the War Horses. 38-0 they are. McNeil shot, no good. Tap in, no good. McNeil gets a shot, block. Isaiah Tate, his fourth. Salmon already with one player on the bench fouling out. Tate in danger himself. King at the line. He makes the first. He'll get a second. King's got 13. His team is up by two. Second shot. Splash down by him. 41-38, three-point lead for Peabody. 3.48 to go. Johnson, his 12th point. And Salmon back within one, sticking with the game plan. 325 to go. Horn. Good defense by Harrison. Missed shot. McNeil. He had to walk. Oh, he called jump ball. Okay. Alternating possession. Arrow says Salmon. And Coach Smith wants a timeout. His team up by one, 3.17 to go. The loser is out. The winner goes to the top 28. 41-40, Peabody, 3.15, clock running. Harrison, the Spartans know now they're in this one. Yeah, they know they were in it the whole game, but they really know they're in it now. Populous! Three-pointer! Can you believe that? 43-41, 249 to go! McNeil twirling, good basket by him. Tied at 43. Hey, they didn't get to be 38 and 0 without having the medal to come right down after a big three pointer like that and convert. Coach Smith calls timeout. We're tied at 43, 231 to go. There's so much electricity in here. The back of my, the hair in the back of my head is standing up. Salmon inbound. Scott for Harrison. Johnson, Scott, pull up shot. He knocks it down. Scott for two, 2.12 to go. McNeil, he's been tough to stop. And that's why he works himself inside and knocks it down time after time. He's been big for the War Horses here in the fourth quarter. 
153 to go. We got to walk. Populous call for the walk. 146 to go in this one. Tied up. Horn. They want to get it to McNeil on the baseline. Puts up the shot. Misses. Put back miss. And a foul. Johnson commits the foul, and King will go to the line. A buck 30 to go in this one. He misses on the first one. He'll get a second. Some more of that on the road jitters there by Desmond. His second shot. Misses. Rebound. King gets it and puts it back. Good play by him. 47-45. Peabody, a buck 18. Timeout, Coach Carlin. His team down by two. Going to set up a play with a buck 17 to go. Buck 17 to go. Ball inbounded to Harrison. Coach Carlin willing to run time off the clock. Harrison in the lane, dumps it off. Tate off the basket. It's good. Nice dish off there by Harrison to Tate. And we're tied at 47 with Isaiah Tate at the line. He's got nine. Make it 10, one point lead for Salmon, 53 seconds to go. Coach Smith wants us to run the offense. They're going to get it to McNeil, ain't no doubt about it. He's going to try to get in the lane. He will. Loose ball. Horn runs it down. 35 seconds to go. If you paid 7, 10, 15 bucks tonight, you got your money's worth. You're getting it free at home. McNeil, shot, go! One point lead, Peabody, 18 seconds. Harrison, Populous, dumps it off, Tate, shot, no good. Put back by Johnson, timeout, 6.3. Johnson, big time, tap in. 50, 49, 6.3 seconds, baby. Both coaches talked it over. 6.3 seconds to go. Timeout. Coach Smith wanted to see how they were lined up defensively. It's six seconds. Horn coming up on his back. Down the lane, shot, no, a bad charge, a charge. 1.1 second to go, and Salmon draws the charge. <laughs> Coach Smith calls timeout, and the Spartans are on the brink your upset, David, and Goliath, David, on top of the hill at this moment. 1.1 second to go now. Got to inbound the basketball. Populous inbounds it. And we got a foul. No. That's it. It's over. David slays Goliath. David slays Goliath. Post game with Coach Carlin. 
It don't get no better than that, does it? I tell you what, it can't finish any better anyway. These kids were unbelievable tonight, the way they played. Played with so much heart and competed and fought the whole night. And to be able to win this kind of game and this kind of environment is just outstanding. Hey, if you had a chessboard tonight, you were Fisher. You were you were Fisher because you you the way that you set it out and the way they executed your game plan. Talk about well, that. We talked about that. We didn't want to make it an 80, 80 possession game going up and down the floor. We'd take that what they would give us, but we wanted to get kind of get them half court and make their big guys come away from the goal and spread out so our guards could penetrate and do some damage off the dribble. And, and the penetration out of Jared Harrison with the dump off for the big guys. Got it done. Congratulations. Thank you all. Thank you.